In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on maximum and minimum values of trigonometrical expressions, mainly, of course, of the form a cos theta plus b sin theta. All right, so here we've got another question which uh, reads like this. It says, uh, prove that 5 cos theta plus 3 cos of theta plus pi by 3 plus 3 lies between minus 4 and 10. Well, what that means is you just have to prove that this has got a maximum value of 10 and a minimum value of negative 4. And before that, we have to reduce this to the form of a cos theta plus b sine theta, right? So here we go. So we have 5 cos theta and 3 cos of theta plus pi by 3, which is the form a plus b. So cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, right? Plus 3. So we have... 5 cos theta plus cos pi by 3 is nothing but cos uh, 60 degrees. Cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 into 3 is 3 by 2 cos theta minus 3 sine of pi by 3 is nothing but sine 60 degrees, which is uh, root 3 by 2. So it's going to be 3 root 3 by 2 times sine theta plus 3. And now solving this, just take the LCM of 5 plus 3 by 2. We get 13 by 2. So 13 by 2 cos theta minus 3 root 3 divided by 2 sine theta plus 3. Well, we really don't have to worry about this 3. We just have to consider this one. The trigonometrical expression a cos theta minus b sine theta. Okay, let's start off with the minimum values. It's going to be like this. So the minimum value is going to be negative of root of a square plus b square, right? So a square is nothing but 13 by 2 the whole square. And then plus b squared is 3 root 3 by 2 the whole square. Now, if this is the minimum value, this expression is going to lie between this, right? I mean, this one is going to lie after this. So it's going to be lesser than that. It's going to be lesser than or equal to 13 by 2 cos theta minus 3 root 3 sine theta by 2. But this is going to be lesser than, well, this is greater than the minimum value, definitely. Or rather, instead of saying that, it lies between this, the minimum value, and the larger value, which is the maximum value, which is, again, root of a square plus b square. 13 by 2, the whole square, plus 3 root 3 by 2, the whole square. The value of this one is minus 7, which is less than or equal to 13 by 2 cos theta, minus 3 root 3 by 2 sine theta, which is lesser than or equal to plus 7 on this side. We have to prove that it lies between minus 4 and 10. So to get minus 4 here and to get 10 here, all we have to do is just add 3 on both the sides. So minus 7 plus 3, less than or equal to 13 by 2 cos theta, minus 3 root 3 divided by 2 sine theta, which is less than or equal to 7 plus 3. So that makes it what? Minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4, less than or equal to 13 by 2 cos theta minus 3 root 3 by 2 sine theta, which is lesser than or equal to 10. So we proved that this lies between minus 4 and 10. So all that we have to do is just manipulate slightly. Since you're doing it equally on both the sides, it doesn't matter. You know, you eventually show that it does lie between minus 4 and 10. All right, so that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts on trigonometry.